Welcome to today's video, where we check out the video page of the CrowdBeamer web interface. On this page, the video parameters of the CrowdBeamer can be tailored to your specific needs. First off, you'll find GOP size and bitrate. But for the purpose of this video, we will not give you a detailed explanation on what they mean. We've set these settings to 15 and 7000 bit per seconds respectively, after doing extensive testing to ensure the best user experience when using CrowdBeamer. Our general advice is to leave these settings as they are. But if you're a technical person, feel free to do your own tests with them. Secondly, you can find the input color space. In some cases, we have experienced that your audience gets to see a discolored version of the picture they are supposed to see. Now you can change the color space of your source here to solve this issue, should you ever come across it. The next option you'll see is the transformations option. This setting will not be of much interest for most general users, and we will not address it any further in this video, but if you want to learn more, you can always contact us. When you have an external screen or projector connected to the output side of the CrowdBeamer, it might be good to know that you always have the option to manually set a fixed output resolution. The CrowdBeamer should automatically choose the best resolution for the output device you have attached. But in some cases, especially when using VGA and older output devices, problems can occur in the communication between the two. So setting a fixed output resolution could solve this. And we give you the option to manually choose between 12 different resolutions. Feel free to find out what works best for you. The next feature is an experimental setting that was added in the latest version of the web interface. If you want to play a video with sound on an output device, screen or projector, you can now click this option to make the sound run along the HDMI output. Just to be clear, Sound will not be distributed over the CrowdBeamer Wi-Fi to every user device. It will only run along the HDMI output towards an output device. And finally, we have the image gallery. This feature allows you to upload up to six pictures that can serve as a waiting screen. How does it work? Well, simply click the file you want to upload and then select it as the blocking stream image. The moment you click the main button on top of the CrowdBeamer, the live stream will be blocked and your waiting screen will be shown. Press the main button again to unblock the live stream. So you can upload the logo of your company, the banner of your event, or the contents of your training session so that you can pause the stream whenever you need to. You can also block the stream from the web interface. Simply click the show blocking image button and the live stream will be blocked. Afterwards, press show streaming image to unblock the live stream again. Well, I hope this video was useful. And as always, if you have any questions, you can contact us.